we all have money, but very few people know where the money comes from or how it's created. What has happened is, for some reason, way back when the central banks started taking their hold on the planet, a system was set up where governments would produce a bond for a bank. That's right. They would give the bond to the bank. The central bank would then produce money, which would then be used for services. Now, what people don't know in the process of that is they charged interest on that money that was being produced. But even more, that money was being printed out of thin air. There was nothing backing the, the money in reality because the money was coming out of the central bank being printed out of thin air and produced on the strength of the bond. And the bond was backing it. And what a bond actually is, is you and your taxpayers' money. That's right. And so on the strength of the fact that taxes were going to continue to be collected to infinitum, they were loaning out this money. There's no need to collect taxes at all. Shock horror. But it isn't absolutely necessary. What happens is we allow the banks in the high street to produce for every pound they hold and every dollar they hold, nine dollars out of thin air. If we allowed a central bank that was a people's bank to produce that money instead and pay for our local services and took that power away from your local bank, you'd have plenty of money to pay for everything and it wouldn't be out of balance. They're allowed to produce all this money because in the old days they held gold and then they would write a receipt for it. And in, re in writing the receipt for it, the receipts ended up being exchanged and the gold stayed being held by the goldsmith. The guy would, there it is, and we're going to keep the gold for you. You can come and get it any time. Promissory note, pay the bearer so much gold. So some clever people decided we're going to provide a service where we hold the gold for you and we will write a note. And the note then can be exchanged. And right. this is where our dollars come from and where our pound notes come from. And if we allowed a central bank that belonged to the people, a people's central bank, to produce that much, if we were outrageous enough to say, okay, well, you know, we've got this much in reserve, we're going to give you the permission to build ten times as much as that in money, then you could pay for all your services, your hospitals, your children's homes, your old age pensioners' homes. You could pay for all these things that right now we're being told to strive and pay taxes for. You could pay that from that percentage. Instead of giving that power to the banks, what we're advocating is that you give that power to the people and have a people's bank that produces that money for good. Because at the moment, all that money is doing is making a profit for the banks. And at the same time, the banks are turning around keeping everyone in debt. So it's causing a lot of de depression and, and a lot of people are feeling down about being alive because they've got huge, huge debts that are mounting sure. from money that was borrowed from banks who created it out of nothing. And these people playing this game mm. are saying, oh, well, I've got more money than you've got. And the other one's saying, oh, well, I'm in the billionaire's club and you're not. And that's all this is doing. It's not actually changing the fact that they're having strawberries and cream for breakfast. It's not actually putting clothes on any little children's backs. It's not actually helping a hospital, a children's home. It's not actually helping any social services at all. It's these people in a back room bragging to each other that they've got more money. And it's our money that they're taking in order to play this game. And it's a silly game like a Monopoly game that they've set up. Except that when a Monopoly game gets to the point where one person has all the money, it ceases to be interesting for everyone else. We're at that stage now in the world with the Monopoly game that's happening, except they're not conceding that fact. The people who are holding the money have decided we're keeping it. We're going to keep the money. Right. And at the moment, there's no place on the board. So when you're born, it's very difficult to even find yourself a space where everything's already bought up, everything's already owned, everything's already tied up into the big conglomerates. Mm -hmm. and, and we're all being forced to play the game because they're holding the money. And I think we should all be insisting that they let go of it because it's sure. with our cooperation that they're holding it. And get it clear, folks, we are allowing money to be printed out of nothing, out of thin air, to satisfy the banker's greed. We're allowing that to happen, and they're holding all that money, and they're holding us to ransom, saying, you owe us all this money, so there's a national debt, pay us back, and we have to cut all the services. I say cut them loose, and then we can use that ability that we've given them ourselves and we can print for every pound that's being held in reserve nine pounds and then create jobs and services and there would be no hospital that would be without the nurses and doctors that it needs there would be no one who wanted to do that sort of a job out of a job 
And people who wanted to take their leisure time and be creative would be catered for as well, because you'd have a situation where we can look realistically at what is really needed, and we can recompense people properly. So you don't have people crying out like nurses saying we're not making enough money. These people could be paid decent wages. We could afford to do it. All we do is, need to do is, is cut the blood suckers off and use that ability to do some good with it. We need something that cares about people. Yeah. We are people in this world. And we're not here to service a small number of bankers at the top of a ladder who have managed to figure out how to con us all into taking pennies out of every single thing we do. Sure. That's not our purpose in life. It doesn't feel right to me. Mm. I'd rather be involved in something where what happens helps everyone and allows the services and amenities to survive in a way that doesn't put other people in debt and make people suffer in the process.